Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another movie review. And the next is um, reviewing another uh, one of the old Disney films that I got a while back, like when I reviewed Rascal, and I got another, um, ordered another DVD that was like for the old days with Disney films with the animals in it. And this one, I had, I really did enjoy. I had felt like I had more fun than Rascal, although I liked the film, but this one I had a bit more fun with it. And it's from 1967, and it's an old one called Charlie the Lonesome Cougar. And I thought it was a, it was a well it was a well made old Disney film, you know, just from the, how the, how Disney was like in the 60s and the 70s. And I really did enjoy Charlie Charlie the Lonesome Cougar. Um. Maybe because of, uh, although Rascal, which I like, you know, the, rac the raccoon was cute and all that, though. I felt the same thing when when this was a, when he was a little old, but I felt it was more of the story, more about a cougar than the raccoon, though. But still, I like Rascal, but this one I got a little more fun out of it. Um, and throughout this whole, throughout the whole film, the story's about you know when um, uh, a, a lone little uh cougar cub. He's all alone, abandoned, and while well, this guy, uh, by the name of Jess Bradley, takes him in and raises him, and takes place. This whole place is where it takes place, in, like in Washington, because that's where how it has all these um, saw logging and sawmills and stuff like that. And throughout those whole films, it's narrated. It's there's there's this narrator telling everything about um, about Charlie. Which he called, oh, she, the guy also names like Good Time Charlie. But it's Charlie still. And. Morning. More gum, gummy bears I'm eating. So. And with Wolf Bar, when, when um, Charlie, when he was a, just a cub, cute looking little kitten, basically. Until he grows up to be more of an adult. And and then when he spends his, he spends his time, you know, when um, you know, with the at the at the place where um, Jess works at the lot at the sawmills and stuff, um, you know, getting used to like you living with the human life and stuff like that. And um, LA has a little bit of uh, when he when he, when he uh, wanders off, you know, plays with this um little black bear cub. And there do they play together until there's this um this male black bear comes in and starts you know where the place where it stores like it, it gets the hidden log where it stores like its food stuff and you see it like ripping the log out strong you know because bears are strong and it chases both the cub and uh, Charlie up a tree and the mother bear of the cub fights it. And then when it, the fight ends, when the bear cub and uh, Charlie they're on one branch, and a branch breaks and it hits the male bear on the head, bonk. And then they all go their separate ways. And Charlie's, you know, at the sawmill, you know, trying, you know, he gets food from the cafeteria. And although there's this, there's this little dog that does not like Charlie, which is by the name, his name is Chainsaw. It's where a little dog that's named Chainsaw. Does he doesn't he doesn't like Charlie, and the one to, when they, when they want to uh, the workers they go on the street because they set up they they um along the river they stack up all the, these logs and they just set them all down the river you know for the sawmill stuff like that and they have these these floating houses like for stuff you know where the work for the workmen that's including like a floatable kitchen too and. Charlie scares this one guy who's supposed to be the cook, and but so Jesse is forced to, to you know to be the cook on that one because he's he sees Charlie on the place um because he's he's because he's floating down the street on a log and Jess goes after him in the floating kitchen until he catches up with the other with the, there's more people that's been searching for the thing and. It shows that the narrate, you know, the narration shows that you see him helping a little bit on, the, on with the workers, and until one day when he's um when uh 
Jess is like napping in, in the place and it's tight and he has the place the the wraps are say. I uh, tied up Charlie's like playing with the rope and actually on the ties and sends um um the, the thing uh flowing down the river and and sends a little bit more of the rapids and everything's falling out and the stove falls over and starts starts uh, a fire and into one part where there's a man working on some logs that are blocking the way and they can't get it apart, so they're going to use dynamite to blow it up. And they see the thing, uh, the, the rats coming. It's like, no, no, there's dynamite, dynamite. But until it hits the thing, it blows up. It blows up, but it didn't blow up the raft, though, but it blew right in front of it. And uh, Charlie gets on there and he's like, you'll see, there's Jesse. Um, he's covered like an egg, stuff like he's like licking him. Until like the he gets so he gets in trouble, he has to put him on a leash, and and then he sees the the, the workers having a little like uh, a contest, you know, like just, you know you know standing on the logs in the water, trying to run back for us, try to keep her balance before without falling in. Um, he gets on there, try yeah, he gets on there um on the log with one guy. Until that dog chainsaw comes in and distracts him, and he makes him fall in the water, makes him lose. So now he is now forced to um stay at the house permanently until he hears one night he's in a cage and he hears another roar in the distance. So he gets himself out of it and runs into the woods. Until he hears it was a it's a female cougar that's um calling. And they say that the two that they you know they have fun together like the one instance where they play in the snow and you know and fight with snowballs. And until one instance that um the female cougar hunts a rabbit. And when Charlie sees that you know wants to get get a part of it, the the, the female cougar like just snares and growls back at him and chases him off. So now he's now on his own. He's lost in the woods. So now, because he's been domesticated for pretty much about half of his life, so he has to learn how to be a wild animal to live in the in the woods. So he tries to tries to get food. Like he goes into this one person's farm. He sees that the the, the farmer is like feeding the milk of the cow, and he's even squirting the the milk where the, these little cats are, giving them the milk. And he, and he tries to get the same, do the same thing, but scares the he scares the farmer, he tries to shoot at him, chased by the dog, and he gets out. <laughs> and <clears throat> And I was just been he's been out there, he's been living on his own, um with the nip by the nip by the narration is telling how he is uh living how his own in past uh, past the summer and until one day where he meets his raccoon not not the ras not a rascal, it's another wild raccoon. Chases him because he tries to. He's still hungry. He tries to find something. And well, you see one instance where before that he um he he finds that he um he sees a, a lynx. We just gotta find there's you see a lynx and a raccoon, which is two years after this film was it was in Rascal a lynx and a raccoon. <laughs> but um he he's able to catch a mouse for himself, and the next the next thing he tries to hunt a deer, but then. Here is there's a pack of, there's a hunter and some pack of dogs try to chase after him and he gets up onto this um what the narrator said a flume you know uh, you know where um, men built the things for for um with a, um water and their logs going in he he's riding on a log to get to get away he's been riding there for a, for a while until one leads to another leads to another that um as the narrator goes he is um. He's been, he's been to this sort of place before, and it's coming back to him. He's back where the mills are. And he tries to go back where the cafeteria is, but everything's locked. There's nothing for him. And he goes to the pantry, and well, he gets a mouse track and spooks him, and he's locked in the pantry. And now, since he's been living in all the woods most of the time now, he's now becoming a little more of a wild animal now. You know, hissing, growling, and all that. Until the uh, guy named Patchluck, something like that. The guy, the guy's name with the dog again, chainsaw. Hears something, opens the door. He he runs out, breaks, runs through the glass, the glass panel in the door, and all the workers they start chasing after him. They say, "Hey, is that Charlie?" And says, or they think they're guessing whether it's Charlie or not. They say, "Wow, cougar!" And get the cougar. 
and they, they, they corner him in this in, in, in an elevator, and Jess gets there, and say, hey, that's Charlie. And so he so he goes down there, try to calm him down, you know, Charlie doing the <sighs> until finally Jess finally able to um, ease, calms him down, you know, so he can put the rope around him to keep him calm. And the workers say, oh, well, that's well, I'll be on that because because they were going because they were going to shoot him. So then, so, so then, uh, but now because of that now he's um going to take um just going to take him back into the wild, drive a, f a far enough distance. And while that while it's got while that's happening, oh, just by the time he's now married to a woman, with the narrator says an ex nurse. Um, so they take him to another part of the wilderness, far away, and. Uh, Jess um, lets just let lets him off a leash and says go, and then uh, Charlie takes one one last look at him look, look at him and says he walks away and so he runs off, and then he goes back and he meets which is supposed to be like the same female cougar that he met, and now last the time they now is as an error an error ends this you know he's now found a maiden and says the world is will no longer talk about Charlie, so long Charlie and as the like how the how the how the, the the intro of the movie is with the narrator talking about Charlie and the song about Charlie, and now it ends with "So long, Charlie," and th this is the end. So, but yeah, so, so this is this is much shorter because it's telling about the life of how the crew, uh, how this, uh, Charlie the Cougar, how he was domesticated and he was forced to live on his own in the wild and. You know, his wildlife instincts kicks in. You know, and just it's it's much shorter though. But I just felt like I had more fun than with this film than Rascal. Maybe because it's more about a cougar than a raccoon. But regardless, I like Rascal. But this one I got a little more fun of it. Charlie the Lonesome Cougar. I know it's much shorter than it usually is, but if you see the, if you see the film. And plus, speaking of it, it is a short film. It's only about 75 minutes. So it is it is a pretty short film, too. So, But I, I, I enjoyed Charlie the Lonesome Cougar. It's another, another, it's another good old classic Walt Disney film from the, from, from, from the old days, which I miss. And the guy who, was, who did the narrator, uh, who was the narrator, Rex Allen, which he was um, the narrator. So he also narrated on the original Incredible Journey, and also um, there was another thing that he did narr he did a narration on. Because said he said he said, cause it said that he was supposed to, he did like narration for a lot of Disney films, for the old ones. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He helped did the narrate on the original The Incredible Journey, and also helped them um, do the narration on the. In the classic 1973 of Charlotte's Web. That's what it was. Yeah, so. Other than the guy, so Rex, I thought he did a good job narrating, narrating, telling how the life story about this one cougar, how about his life, his whole life, and. I thought he did a good job, Rex Allen. And same with the guy, the guy who plays, um, Jess Bradley, named Ron Brown. I thought he was still still good too. So yeah, Charlie the Lonesome Cougar. I would give it give it a thumbs up, and I would recommend you go check it out. Same thing I would do Rascal. Same thing I'll recommend here. If you like watching, want to watch more of these old Walt Disney films, I would recommend to watch Charlie the Lonesome Cougar. It's a good old, good old fashioned Walt Disney film. You won't get Disney film. You won't get Disney films of these today nowadays, like these. Just good old timeless and classic ones. So yeah. So that's all my 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 sh one of my shorter than usual reviews. But Charlie Lones and Cougar, I enjoy. I do really do enjoy. Well, thanks for watching. And stay tuned and be sure to check it out if you if you if you never heard of it. I recommend you check it out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned on the next uh, movie, re movie review. Later.